how's everyone doing? Glad you're uh, with us tonight. And uh, just wanted to pray first, and we're going to get down with what the Lord's speaking to me in this hour. And then we'll get into <clears throat> just some of the things I feel that we can do to move into that. Okay. And um, just to let you know, I'm going to start a product on this. It's going to be free. I'm going to put you all into it that have registered. And I'm just going to put you in so you can see last week's and the weeks before. But I really love that you come on live here to listen to it because that's going to be key in this hour. So let's pray. Father, I pray that you would give us ears to hear and you would give us uh, hearts of understanding, but also give us hearts of hunger, hearts of thirst to hear what the prophetic is saying today, what the prophets are saying today. We must... I hear that you are saying to us, we must hear your voice in this hour like never before. We're going to have to hear your voice. So I thank you, Lord. I ask for the anointing to be upon me. I ask for the anointing to be upon everyone who is watching and listening to this broadcast, Lord, that you would put your anointing upon them, that you would give them ears to hear and hearts to, to perceive and understand so that we can be about your business of the kingdom I thank you for it. I thank you for it, Lord. I heard the, the Lord say to me uh, a couple of days ago, do not turn back. There's nothing in the past from last year that you need to bring into this year. This is a new season, a new vision, says the Lord. Keep your path straight and do not turn to the left or the right. Neither your failure of yesterday nor your fears are valid now. This is a new season, a reset of the church and of my people. Do not be dull of hearing, but sharpen your gift to hear my voice. For missing my voice in this hour has great consequences. For those who do not turn to hear what I am saying in this hour through the prophets will miss a great opportunity to move with me. Hebrews 5.11 is a verse that the Lord laid upon my heart, which is, uh, he says, he had a lot to explain to him about. He's talking about Melchizedek, actually. He says, but you become dull of hearing. And so I, I want you to know that it is up to us not to become dull of hearing. And I want to talk about a couple of things the Lord uh, wants you to know. It's time to make the plans that you have stuck in the drawer. You know, those those things that you've just like stuck in the drawer forever, those things that you said someday, those things that you said someday. I want to tell you right now, the Lord's saying, it's not someday, it's today. It's the hour has come for you to move out into your destiny, to move out into what I've called you to do, but you're stuck because you don't know how, but you won't know how, says the Lord, unless you take the step, and like to, 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 unless you take that step of faith. And begin to move forward in what I have called you to do this hour. It doesn't mean quitting your job, but it means take a step, take a leap, says the Lord. And the reason I caution about people thinking that you have to always quit your job, um, uh, you know, to fulfill the call of the Lord, and and, and that's the big step. But that's I, I I hear the Lord cautioning that like that's not what He's saying. He's saying, but. Take the step towards your destiny. Take your step. If it's a business that you've been wanting to open, open it. If it's, this is the hour, this has been, the church has been given a reset. You know, everything that we were doing came to a halt. Everything the church was doing basically came to a halt. And everyone scrambled and realized, wait a minute, what do we do now? How do we, how do we do now? What do we do in this hour? And I'm telling you, that reset came. And the Lord says, look, number one, get back to my kingdom. Get back to the preaching of the gospel of the kingdom. And, and, and oh, I heard this. I was, I was getting ready. And the Lord said to me, he said, do not, do not participate in those who are critical of my people. Good or bad, do not participate with an evil tongue. For in this hour, I'm not going to tolerate those who try to um, uh, expose and those who try to shame and those who try to uh, reveal someone's past. And I'm not going to sit idly by, says the Lord, anymore with those who sit there and try to pit me against my own people. 
Not in this hour, not in this moment, says the Lord. No more, says the Lord, are we going to play the game of who am I for? I'll tell you who I'm for, says the Lord. I'm for the one who does my will. I'm for the one who seeks my face. I'm for the one who is the generation of Jacob who seeks my presence. And I will take the lowliest of people and I will exalt them. And I'll take the exalted ones and I will make them low. And see if my grace doesn't come upon you. But magnify my name. Magnify my glory in this hour. And see what I do in your midst. But avoid those who are accusers of the brethren. Avoid those who are, uh, mark those who cause division amongst my people. For I, in this season, I am not going to tolerate those who think that I am dividing my people. And I will not tolerate it in this hour, says the Lord. You're going to see great victory. You're going to see great provision. You're going to see great expansion in this hour. This is the season where the spirit, wow, thank you, Lord, the spirit of expansion, where it was prophesied in Isaiah, stretch out your tent cords and, and lengthen them. This is the hour to get more rope so you can extend your tent out. This is the hour to make provision for the expansion that I have planned for you, that I have desired for you, that I have told you about in seasons past. And it always seemed like it was a season away. It always seemed like it was over the hill, next hill. And the Lord says, you are now at the point of expansion. You are now at the point of increase. You are now at the point of prosperity. For those who will work with me in this hour shall see great increase. There are seasons where there are seasons of loss. There are seasons where there is a season of cutting back, but we're not cutting back, says the Lord. This isn't the season of, you know, uh, of me reducing to make you stronger, but this is the season of great expansion. This is the season of great favor. This is the season of increase. In times past, you, you, you were accurate when you said, sometimes God has to take away. And take away so that we can move forward. But this is not that hour, says the Lord. For you, I have taken away and removed from your midst that which caused you trouble. And that which was hindering you. But this is the season now where I will add those to you. Who have like heart, like spirit, like vision. This is the hour where you'll find that I will bring those people together. I will bring those people together. This is not the hour to back away. This is not the hour to back off. But hearken unto my voice, says the Lord. Hearken unto me. Make sure that you are listening to me in this hour. Because the consequences are greater in this hour than they have been in your lifetime if you do not listen to me. Do not look for opportunity, but listen for my voice. For I will lead you even by the hand, says the Lord. For this is the hour of the prophets. This is the hour that my prophetic voice shall increase. But do not forsake. And do not be critical. Do not be do not be a, a person of division. For those that look to divide, I will deal with swiftly. For this is the hour you have been waiting for, says the Lord. This is the hour you've been waiting for. Do not miss this moment, says the Lord. But begin not to just make plans, but begin to do. 
Begin to be doers of the vision. Begin to be doers of my word. Begin to be doers of the kingdom. And see if I do not bring increase in your midst. See if I do not bring increase in your midst, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, Father, for that. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Thank you for speaking to us tonight. Thank you for all that you do for us tonight. Thank you for, um, uh, for, for leading us. I, I feel, you know, I have felt, um, I told the church in um, December, the last Sunday, I said, you had 30, you had three months to get ready Three months to seek his face. Three months to get ready for what God was about to do in the earth. I did not know that when I prophesied that, that in three months, America was going to be shut down. I did not know that. <clears throat> and, and I felt that I was so prepared. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm just going to tell you that um, the Lord so prepared us for that. So prepared us for that that um, what took place and what has taken place with the gate, what's taken place in my ministry in, in growth and uh, opportunity because I heeded his voice. I'm telling you now, heed his voice. Heed his voice. Because even what the enemy meant for evil, he will turn to good. He will make you prosper. The enemy is a puppet in the hand of God. The enemy does not know that buffeting you will actually nudge you into your calling. He doesn't know that what he has done by bringing you resistance actually has made you stronger. And that you're ready for this hour. And you don't realize the level of uh, readiness and preparedness for this hour that you're in. But you're going to see exceedingly great growth and acceleration for the rest of 2020. And every month, your vision's going to get clearer. It's going to get clearer. It's going to, you're going to have clarity of vision, clarity of purpose, clarity of unction, clarity in the anointing, clarity in the presence, clarity in the throne room, clarity with the angelic host. You're going to have clarity. Your vision, the cloudiness is going away. In this hour. This is that moment, says the Lord, that you've been waiting for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I'm going to tell you what you can do to help this out. Sit down this week and write out the vision again. Write it out. If you've written it out, then read it again. Claire, meditate on it. Let him give you instruction to the vision. Let him give instruction to the vision. Why is that important? Because there's two things you have to do to walk with the Lord and be accurate. One is you have to be careful what you are hearing. Mark uh, 4 24 through 26, somewhere in there. In the Amplified, it's really well. Read it there. And then you can't be dull of hearing. You have to purpose to hear the Lord. You have to purpose to hear the Lord. You have to make it a purpose in your life. And you go, but I hear the Lord. Yeah, but if you want to hear him greater, you have to purpose to hear him greater. It doesn't, it doesn't happen just because God wants it to happen. It happens because you want it to happen in faith. And in faith, you, you attract that which has always been available to you. So one, be careful what you are listening to because that's going to be important. And I don't mean to be careful and like not listen, but I also mean give great weight, it says. It says in the Amplified, in Mark, it says... That the amount of thought and study 
that you give to what you hear is the amount of virtue or power you get back out of it. That is going to be key in this hour that you listen to the prophetic voices, even mine but others, and you listen to the prophetic voice and you give weight to it and you meditate on it and you think about what's being said. The other thing is you can't be dull. Don't be casual with his voice. Don't, don't, don't brush away his voice. Don't go, it doesn't matter. It matters in this hour. It matters greatly in this hour. It matters greatly in this hour that we're hearkening to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shabbat I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited for us. I'm so excited for the church and what's going on in this hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good, so good, so good. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your goodness. For your goodness, Lord. Let your goodness be upon your people, Lord. Let your anointing go forth. Take the anointing on my life. Take the gifting on my life. Take you everything I received. I, I always love to pray for impartation, Lord. I thank you for giving me such faith with impartation. But I thank you more the gift that comes to them. I thank you more for the anointing that comes for them. I thank you more for what's going to happen with them in their life. I thank you for it. Ha shaka pataroko pataroko. Beberi andoroko patariana. Bo shaka patariana la kapoto. Hey, ha shaka pataroko. Ha ba che beki. Mi andoroko. Ten years, says the Lord. Ten years of my glory. Ten years of, uh, of manifest glory. Not that it will come to an end. But it will be a season of 10 years of glory. You could do anything well for 10 years. <laughs> and after this 10 years, we'll go 10 years farther into the glory. But we're going to see signs in the heavens and signs on the earth. Hallelujah. For the, the earth is looking for a Savior like Jesus. But they're looking for power. They're looking for glory. They're looking for those who carry the voice of the Lord. And that's you. Hallelujah. Shaka potoloka. I want to thank you. I, I don't want to take. I told you I wouldn't take long in these. <clears throat> but I'll tell you what I'll let you do. If you have a prophetic word and you want to raise your hand, you can. If you have a prophetic word. Not if you have a question and not a statement. You're going to prophesy. Because this is a prophetic broadcast. So if you want to raise your hand, I'll give a couple a minute or two, but that's it, and then I'll go. But I mean, I don't want a I don't want a um I don't want a statement. I don't even want a testimony right now. I just if you have a prophetic word that you'd like to share, then that's fine. You can't unmute yourself, so you're gonna have to raise your hand for us to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, Lord, I thank you right now. Lord, I ask that you bless your people as they go forth. I'm asking you, Lord, to visit them in the night. Lord, I'm asking for you to visit them in the night hours, the dreams and the visions. I'm asking you to awaken their spirits. I'm asking you to seal up wisdom inside of them even as they sleep. And I thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Shaka Bapalokopata. We thank you for it, Jesus. We thank you for it, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, all the honor, Lord. Lord, I thank you. God bless you. Uh, and may the Lord speak to you tonight 
in such powerful ways. May the Lord speak to you tonight in such powerful ways. In Jesus' name, God bless you, and you have a good night.